electronics and into a book. Barb Langridge with a book and a hug dot com is here to yes. tell us what to read. These are the million dollar books, Jen. Okay. I love it. We're going to kick off with life. This is Cynthia Ryland doing what she always does and a brilliant Brendan Winzel doing the illustrations. And it asks the incredibly important question, what do you love about life? And I, I am hearing from the publisher that this book is speaking to people because in the times we're in, it's like, ugh. But you know, you gotta go back and remember, what do you love? What's beautiful? If you ask a hawk, they'll say the sky. If you ask a camel, they'll say the sand. And even when times get a little tough, you know, it's worth waking up in the morning because life is always changing. All right, that's a good one to have around. And this one, oh gosh, Adam says his son is gonna love. Well, I think he and his, a lot of his son's friends, creepy pair of underwear. What do you do when your underwear is getting creepy on you? <laughs> <laughs> this little guy went out and got a brand new pair of not the tidy whities but the fabulous glowing greenies, okay? Oh my gosh, I love it. And he goes to bed that night and his dad says, "Do you want the door open?" "No." So they close the door. Dun, dun, dun. You know, I mean the underwear start to glow and his now the underwear end up staring at him and he tries to hide them in the hamper and everything else but they keep coming back. Okay, that's awesome. Then the mesmerist. Yes. Now I thought of your daughter when I brought this yeah. one in. This is actually a local author. Ron Ron Smith, Ronald L. Smith mm -hmm. is a Baltimorean. And this is the creepies for like the nine to thirteen year olds. Awesome. You've got the city of London. Mm -hmm. There is a plague spreading through the streets. There are ghouls and monsters roaming. And this thirteen year old girl has just found out that she can go into people's heads and read their minds. Well, guess what? Something's turning around and coming back and getting into her head. And Ooh. it's like, come to me, darkling. Oh, I love it. So she and a pair of other gifted kids mm -hmm. are going to be the League of Ravens, and they're going to go up against this dark force that's coming to get her. That one hits on all levels. Oh my goodness. What right. is this? This is so cool. This is a novel, Way of the Warrior, from Wimpy to Warrior, the Navy Seal Way, okay? So you have a 10-year-old boy, Mark, and mm -hmm. it's the last day of school, it's field day. He cannot even do one pull-up. Right. I mean, he is just, he can't swim, he can't do his times tables, he, he feels like blah. His Uncle Jake has been a seal for eight years. He's coming for the summer. What can a Navy SEAL tell a 10-year-old in one summer to make him a warrior? Well, let me tell you, by the time school rolls around for the next year, he's ready to go. This kid has totally, totally got his act together That's and totally pumped. awesome. All right, this is so cool. Skydiving beavers. All right, 1948, right after World War II, the people are moving in on the beaver territory in Idaho. And they have a problem because trees are toppling in their mm -hmm. front yards, the roads are flooding, things are not good. Well, this, somebody's got to get a plan. Elmo Heater gets a plan. It involves a, a beaver named Geronimo mm -hmm. and a pile of surplus parachutes. All right, this is a true go. story. That seems like a treasure, Barb. These yes. are great books. A book and a hug.com. Stay with us.